Hey everybody, Tim at the Boathouse. We're gonna do a quick rundown today on trim and tilt and the correct way to use it to its full potential. You've all probably seen this little button on your boat at some point. Some of you may know what it is, some of you may not. At the end of this video, you're gonna know what it's for. This is called your trim and tilt button. Up, brings the engine up, down, obviously down. So with your trim and tilt, most boats will always have a trim gauge. Obviously it's gonna show up and down so you know position of the motor. You're gonna start out in the all the way down position, which is gonna be what's called a negative trim position, which we'll show you later. But you're gonna be all the way down. Once you get the boat up on plane, the general rule of thumb is you hold your trim button in the up position for a count of 1001, 1002, 1003. As you can see, it puts us about a quarter up on the gauge, so we know where the engine is without having to count three seconds every time, but just using that as a visual. You may go up a little more, you may go down a little more. It just depends on the speed, conditions, how many people you have in the boat, but we'll explain that as we go along as well. Most of your outboards will also have a trim switch on the engine itself, which just lets you operate it from the back of the boat or outside the boat, but your normal, obviously, running operations will be behind the helm using the one on the throttle. This particular one's gonna help me for demonstration purposes today because as I said, you're gonna start it in the all the way down position. As you can see, this has a little bit of a negative trim position, so it's kind of tucked in towards the boat a little bit. Imagine your boat is sitting flat, your engine is tucked under the boat just a few degrees, such as this one. That's what helps get the boat up on plane. Once you're up on plane, that three seconds we discussed is 1001, 1002, 1003. As you can see, that brought that from that negative trim position out to pretty much a straight vertical position. What that does is eliminates uh, any porpoising that you may occur. If you're out in your boat and your boat is bouncing up and down, what we call porpoising, it's the possibility of your engine is still trimmed all the way down, creating lift, and the weight of the boat comes down, so you're fighting the weight of the boat with the trim angle. Bringing it up that three seconds will alleviate that uplift and give you more of a push forward to alleviate porpoising. We're gonna use this as a visual aid, just to kind of show you what we're talking about with that negative trim position versus trimming it up for that three seconds. Right now, we are still in that negative trim position. I don't know if you can tell, but we're kind of tucked under the boat just a few degrees, but keep an eye on this top bubble. So remember, we started out all the way down as we get up on plane, we're gonna trim this up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. That bubble is pretty much dead center now, which shows that the engine is perpendicular to the transom of the boat. So it's no longer trying to pick the boat up, it's now pushing you forward, which is gonna improve the performance and fuel economy of your boat. So that's why that whole theory of three seconds, as we call the sweet spot, always start out all the way down. Negative trim position. Put your boat in gear, typically full throttle to get the boat up on plane, bring it back to your cruising speed, hold the button on the throttle, 1001, 1002, 1003. That's typically a good running spot. Again, depending on how many people you have in the boat, conditions you're running, you may go a little bit higher, you may go a little bit lower, but if you're not using that at all, you're not getting maximum performance out of your engine. Because by trimming it up to that sweet spot as well, will also improve your fuel economy because you now have improved how the motor is pushing the boat. You will typically pick up another one, possibly 200 RPMs more just by changing the angle of the engine, which is obviously gonna give you a little more speed without you giving up more throttle. So all you've done is improve the efficiency of the motor as well. So it's kind of twofold. Improve efficiency, also improve the performance of the boat. So once you've mastered the trim and tilt and you're no longer using that gauge, we have a lot of shallow water here, so we need a boat that can uh, float in as little water as possible. To maximize the draft of your boat with your outboard, you can trim this up. This is your water intake. This is where it's pulling water in to cool your engine while being operated. Long as the prop is still underwater, and this is still underwater. I've been in situations where I will trim this up. Water line could be about here. I've seen the top of the prop coming out of the water. Still enough prop in the water to propel you, slow speed obviously, and this is still underwater to pick up the water for cooling. That's what's gonna give you the least amount of draft for the boat that you are in. This is gonna be trimmed up higher than the bottom of the boat. So if you're trying to get in as shallow water as possible, your boat floats in 15 inches of water, obviously this is trimmed up higher than the bottom, so this isn't gonna be adding any more of depth to your draft. 
So this will be trimmed up higher than the bottom of the boat. The only thing you're worrying about at that point is the keel. So if you are trying to get into some shallow areas, you're not gonna be using the prop beating up the bottom. You're not gonna be catching the skeg on the bottom. You're gonna feel the keel of your boat starting to slow you down. There's no need to go any further. There's still enough prop in the water. If you wanna put it in reverse to back it up off of the shallow water, set your anchor, hang out for the day, enjoy your, uh, your shallow draft boat. Hey guys, Tim at the Boathouse. I hope this video helps you utilize your trim and tilt to its full potential. If you guys have any further questions, please feel free to reach out, contact us, www.boathouseh2o.com or any way you can find us on social media. Tim at the Boathouse, have a great day.